So this is called uh, wheelchair rugby. It was form formerly known as murder ball. I walked into a gym in Salt Lake City and uh, I seen a flyer that said like, hit hard, hit somebody. Showed two rugby players hitting each other and I was like, that's something I could get into. I used to play sports when I was a kid, you know, and I missed that since I got in a wheelchair. Well, and I found this, this is it. We're all just getting out here, getting that competitive edge back. We've been around for about a year now, but the sport itself in the league has been around since the mid 70s. It's uh, different than what you most people have seen. In spite of the name wheelchair rugby, it kind of resembles a mixture of hockey, soccer, and basketball, kind of. I'd been an athlete my whole life, and I got back there, and the only sports that were really available were uh, to guys with a lot more function than I have, so there wasn't any sports geared towards uh, quadriplegic. Now we get classed based on our physical function from a 0.5 to a 3.5, and, and if you're below a 2.0, uh, you play defense, and defensive chairs have a longer front end, and they got this big bar on the front that we call a pick bar, and that's to play defense, that's to catch the other chairs and stop them. And the high point chairs you can see around here, they're kind of, they have like a stunted front. They ram and they're supposed to kind of deflect these pickers. This is kind of what got me out of my house after my accident. I spent a few years really doing nothing and then when I started hanging around these guys and seeing uh, what they do with their lives, that, uh, that was a definite pick me up for myself and for a lot of other guys. It gives me a, a reason to stay in shape, you know, a reason to push hard. Um, there's a million drills you can do in rugby that you time yourself. <laughs> 